Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bee's YouTube channel. I'm the Skinny Bee Man. I'm shooting this intro because it didn't take the first time in the video when I went to edit it. It won't make any sense if I don't have a little bit to explain it. This hive right here, which you'll see after the intro, is a double deep ten frame. And it was a it's a fourth year queen. This is her fourth season, and she finally just gave up the ghost, I guess, and they made a bunch of queen cells, and uh, I'll show you what we're going to do. Like I say, you wouldn't understand anything if I didn't make this intro, so sorry that it didn't take the first time. But, you know, we could just leave the 10 frame hive like it is. They made queen cells. And they may or not may not requeen. That's one shot. We're going to bust this down into four hives, and we've got four chances to making a queen. Uh, and it's a good queen. I've bred a lot out of this queen. It's a buckfast four-year-old, and she's been good. And I like to keep the genetics in the yard. Well, we'll get in here and get started and see what we got. We're going to make strong splits in the nuke because we're in a dearth right now. I'm feeding 20 gallon of syrup a day. And I don't want to get the robin started in the yard, so we're going to make strong splits out of it. Looks like it's getting ready to storm again. Only had only rained two and a half inches, over two and a half inches yesterday. An inch today, and the next ten days supposed to rain. We're going to half-heartedly look for the queen. Not going to spend a whole lot of time at it. This has got a queen cell on it. Actually, it's got four queen cells on it. I don't have the display turned on. I hope you can see this. There's queen cells right here, right here. So the first, and I want to keep this genetic. Typically, I wouldn't uh, do a walk away split this time of year, but that was a good queen. I, I made a lot of queens off of her. So if I can get one of these to requeen, I'll be more than pleased. I just checkerboarded these in not too too long ago. So some of these don't know how many splits we'll get off of each one, off of this hive, but we'll see. If we just get three total, that's three chances to requeen. And that's a honey and pollen frame, so we'll put that in the same hive and go on down. Now I know I could cut cells out of this and make sure they all got a cell out of this one, but don't have the time or the engine. <laughs> Uh, to do it. If they don't have any more cells than that in there, we'll give the other hives queens. That's a good starter. Another frame of brood with queen cells capped. So we'll know that these these queens are this queens are gonna hatch in less than eight days for sure. Okay we're gonna put this one in a different starter in a different hive.
we'll use these partially drawed out frames to fill in after we see what we divvy after we divvy everything up. See, I don't think she's in here at all because unless she's in the bottom, I see no eggs. Now, if we could get lucky and get this next frame got another queen cell on it, that's all the splits we'll make. Three up there and the original here. Partially brewed honey. Hatching out. I'm going to give this one to the, the, one, the second split up here. They each got two frames in it now. And no matter what we rob out of this original hive here, it's going to be the strongest. All the field force is going to come back to this. I could about steal everything out of this and, and it'll still be stronger. Hopefully we got a queen cell here. Yep, got one queen cell right here. Okay, so all three of our splits has got a queen cell now, so that's good. This will go into our third split. Each one of them has got a good frame of brood and a frame of honey. That one's just got a partial frame of brood and the rest honey. Let's get down to the bottom of the box. Queen still might be in there. She, they're, they're, they're superseding her. It ain't an emergency deal. It's a supersedure. Just because she's too old. It's pretty good to get a queen to run four seasons. Actually, she run three and a half. This was her fourth season. Nice frame of brood with cells on it. I'd say she's not in there as many cells as they are. Hmm. Them actually look like swarm cells there. They might have got strong enough and swarmed out on me. I didn't catch it. There's all down along the bottom like swarm cells. So each one we got uh, Two frames in each split up there. We can get. Be nice to leave this one a frame of brood if we can. Not mandatory, but be nice if we can. Actually, there's. Actually, these look like swarm cells. They, they got cells there, so all four of them's got cells. Partial frame of cat brood and honey. I'm just going to do a gander for the queen. I really don't think she's in here. It's got cells on it too.
See, she was a workhorse right up to the end. She got, that's another frame of brood. It's a little early in the season. I'd make one frame splits off of these. We got to get them back down into a five frame box too. Okay, we got to get them enough drawed comb in here that they won't screw up the starter strip. <sighs> Let's see here, three and two. Just a frame of drawed comb. And that's four. That'll be five. The rest of these we'll take up there and put in the split. I got one more partially drawed or not? I don't know. partially drawed comb. As soon as I get these up there I'll show you what we what we we got up here. When you're making a split like this late or when you're in a dearth in the summertime they're queenless and a hive usually won't defend the hive for the first 36 hours, so that's when they can, they're susceptible to robbing. Got to have one more frame. She may have swarmed out. I had a green dot on her, and I had a little swarm in the yard the other day that had a green dot, so that may be her. I may know where she's at, but don't know for sure. I'd have to look at her a little close, closer. And I've robbed the brood out of this hive several times this year. And shoot, I may have moved the queen out when I was robbing frames. Nothing's perfect. See here. Here's the first, 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 ah, first split. We got a brood frame, an empty frame, honey frame, partial brood and honey. Same thing there. You got three good frames of bees in here. This is split number two, same way, and split number three. You make splits this time of year, Robin screens a must if you do it in the same yard. 
But I'm gonna button these up <coughs> and pause, and then we'll we'll get these girls back down to a five frame box down here. <coughs> I go ahead and get it set up so we're ready to go when we get there. But I'll pause it right here and get these other girls closed up before the robbers start coming in the top. Okay, we're back. We're just going to uh, actually this high body is empty. We're going to set this up here out of the way. Give them their original hive back. That'll make them all happy. They ought to feel right at home. This is their original old box. There's bees in there. We got a queen in here? Coming in there faster than I. Like I say, this drive, this hive here will be the strongest of all of them. I didn't even have time to get that entrance reducer fixed. They was used to coming in that side over there, so I'm gonna put it over here. Just like so. And you can see they're just piling in here. It's gonna be a super strong split here. Always one wants to sting you for some reason. They'll settle right in there with no problem. Get a brick. Oh, get the lid turned wrong.
Worst case scenario, I can. There's a lot of nice big drones in there. I may take their, keep her bloodline going, take the drones, and breed them to an, uh, another buck bass queen I got in the yard. And it'll skip back to the grandparents' generation with a drone on that side. That's just the way it works in the bee world. Look like I masked a few casualties of war. It happens. If you enjoy the videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. And uh, get notified when I put out new videos. Looks like we're going to hit uh, either this week or next week. We'll hit the 10,000 subscriber mark and we'll draw for the queen. Whoever, see who gets the queen. Thanks for watching.